सेरिकल्चर इज प्रॉफिटेबल बिजनेस इफ वी कीप पेशन मेंटेन कंटिन्यूटी इन दिस बिजनेस एंड वर्क हार्ड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सेरिकल्चर बट बिफोर दिस let us briefly understand the sybc zoology syllabus of pune university sybc zoology syllabus includes two paper paper 1 animal diversity 4 and paper 2 applied zoology 1 both paper have two credit paper 2 applied zoology consists two unit unit 1 sericulture and second unit is agriculture pest and their control now we start the sericulture sericulture is not current practice the first silk and silk production was reported in china and then this practice reached to other parts of countries in simple words sericulture is just a reeling of silk moth for the production of silk we call this is sericulture but sericulture in broad sense includes three division agriculture division in which we cultivate the mulberry plant second division is entomological division where rearing of silk worm is done and third division is technical division uh, in which rearing of silk practiced the sericulture we called is a cottage industries ya supplementary business to agriculture in this way uh, the sericulture provides employment to people and reduce poverty in india in sericulture silk we mostly prefer silk obtained from four types of silk moth number 1 and highly demanded silk moth is mulberry silk moth see this picture this mulberry silk moth is a small silk moth somewhat whitish in color and the scientific name of this mulberry silk moth is bombax mori it is called mulberry silk moth because it feeds on mulberry leaves it is highly domesticated silk moth and it origin originated from the wild silk moth bombax mandaria it distributed in indian state like karnataka andhra pradesh west bengal tamil nadu and jammu kashmir if we want to classify the silk moth the silk moth is a insects so it include in phylum arthropoda having a jointed appendages then division endopterygota in which wings develop internally class insecta having a three pair of legs then order lepidoptera depends on plant scaly wings all silk moth is have a common classification up to the order maybe tasar silk moth iri silk moth or muga silk moth so this up to the order then family bombycidae it feeds on plants leaves mulberry plants leaves then subfamily bombycoidi and genus of this mulberry silk moth is bombax 
and species is moody. The silk, see the silk worm, silk moth. From the silk moth, we get silk. The silk moth lay eggs, and from these eggs, these larvae hatch. These larvae start feeding on mulberry leaves, and after the completion of larval period, spines the cocoon around the body. See this cocoon of Bombex muri, and from this cocoon, we obtain the yellow whitish silk. Mulberry silk is 100% natural silk and one advantage of this silk, it is a continuous filament. Then fine fabric of this silk is light, soft and long lasting. The silk is odorless and hypoallergic. That's why the silk is highly demanded in markets. This mulberry silk moth is indigenous to India and China and from where it is introduced into the other parts of world. Next silk moth is eerie silk moth. See this picture of eerie silk moth. Uh, this spot eye spots on wings of eerie silk moth this is called eerie silk moth because it feeds on eerie yeah we call castor plant this eerie silk moth is again a domesticated silk moth silk obtained from this silk moth is called poor man's wool or poor man's silk because the tribal of Indo-Mongolid and Tibets are highly engaged in production of eerie silk. This eerie silk moth distributed in Brahmaputra Valley to the foot hills of Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur and Arunachal Pradesh. It is also found in Assam, Bihar, West Bengal, and Odisha. See this classification of eerie silk moth. I record here uh, the classification of any silk moth is same up to the order. Only the difference is in family, subfamily, and then genus and species. This eerie silk moth belonging to family Saturnidae and scientific name is Philosemia ricinia or Philosemia cynithia. From this Philosemia, we obtain the silk called eerie silk. The eerie silk is dark and heavier than other silk. See this larva of eerie silk moth. From this larva, we get the eerie silk. One important properties of the eerie silk is it shows thermal properties and that's why it is used to prepare shawl, dresses, jacket, blankets, etc. The silk filament is continuous like uh, mulberry silk film, mulberry silk the texture of fabric is coarse fine and dense and the silk is very strong and durable now the third silk moth is tassar silk moth see this picture of tassar silk moth Scientific name of tussar silk moth is Antheria mylita. Antheria mylita is an Indian tussar silk moth. It is distributed 
फिर वेस्ट बंगाल कर्नाटका बिहार ओडिशा उत्तर प्रदेश आंध्र प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर क्लासिफिकेशन इट इंक्लूड्स इन फैमिली सैचुरडी एंड जीनस एंथेरिया स्पेसिस माइलिटा दिस टसा सिल्क मॉथ इज एंटायरली वाइल्ड सिल्क मॉथ वी आर अनेबल टू डोमेस्टिकेट दिस टसा सिल्क मॉथ इंडिया इज लार्जेस्ट टसार सिल्क प्रोड्यूसर नेक्स्ट टू चाइना and one important characteristic of this tussar silk moth its feeding nature this tussar silk moth is polyphagous means it feeds more than 12 plants this see this larva this greenish larva of tussar silk moth uh, this is the cocoon of tussar silk moth and from this cocoon we get silk this silk is copperish color less lustrous and used for furnishing and interior fourth silk moth is muga silk moth see so this picture of muga silk moth the silk obtained from this muga silk moth is also called the gold of assam it distributed in western himalaya assam and meghalaya its classification includes the family saturnidae and genus antheria species assam uh, this is the larva of muga silk moth and muga silk is golden yellow in color this silk is attractive and strong glossy lustrous and have high durability again this uh, like uh, tussar silk moth muga silk moth is wild in nature and in assam the silk is highly demanded 